fourth time's a charm. I'm Rob. Welcome to the Whiskey Edition. Tonight we're in, not the hut, we're not really in the closet, we're not, we're not in the, uh, the whiskey room or the um, speakeasy or anything fancy like that. We're in the mudroom, and the mudroom is where I've found a little bit of room to put a couple extra shelves of accumulated uh, things that I've purchased over the past while. And so David at the Whiskey Row kind of did a, uh, a month haul that he did. And I got to thinking about that when I washed it. And it was about towards the end of March, I guess, when I watched it the first time. And I got to thinking to myself, you know what? I, I need help. I, I need intervention. I need something because this was, this wasn't even before the end of the month. And I knew I could show the watchers why I've got, why I've got issues. And um, it started with, so this will be like a haul. Call it March Madness. That's perfect because, well, is that trademarked? That might be trademarked. March effing madness? I don't know. But anyway, uh, the month started off with a uh, trip to Vegas for the uh, NASCAR race. So I got a mask. I won't wear it for the video because you won't be able to understand me, but it might be just as well because it's covering most of my face. Got the hat. Got the Las Vegas hat for all the tourists. Fancy Vegas watch. Kind of a nice Tommy Bahama Vegas type shirt. I got my Vegas Harley shirt on that I bought. But anyway, you're not here for any of that business. But those are a few things that were picked up there. But in addition, it was quite quite the run on whiskey. So uh, to start with, uh, went to a, it's almost like a trip report. After I uh, landed, picked up the car, checked into the hotel. Oh, somewhere in here, you might see a picture out my window. Um, in the car, eh, maybe not. Um, I started p plotting all the different liquor stores uh, that I could drive to, which were a lot because um, compared to where I live in the Pacific Northwest, there's you know the Total Wines and Bevmo and some independent ones, but they're like all spread out. These are like concentrated. And what I didn't realize when I started this, and here goes the furnace. So time out. Where was I? I was in Vegas. I got my hotel room. I went to many liquor stores that first evening before my friends arrived. Primarily just to kind of get a lay of the land because I didn't know the city that well when it comes to the liquor stores. And what I found out from one of the other guys in the Bourbon Junkies group is I went to every clip joint liquor store there around, which is fine. I didn't, I don't think I bought anything. I just kind of went and looked. And what I hadn't seen before I don't think we have it here. A lot of the liquor stores near the strip have all of their liquor behind glass. You have to kind of look at it up, up overhead. And it's, what is that and what is that? And so I kind of took note and they had some, you know, pretty high, high end bottles for high end prices and you know, that sort of thing. And a lot of the standard fare you get anywhere else. You get a little bit farther off the strip, the Total Wines, their, their products aren't behind walls of uh, plexiglass. So. Um, the next day, I went out and about before I went to pick them up and uh, went to a place, Lee's Liquor Store. I think I've got a picture of one of them I went to. And at that liquor store, ow, God, this is tight. Um, picked up a bottle of Stag Junior uh, Batch 15. I hadn't seen this up here in the Pacific Northwest yet. Um, so that was the other thing about going to all these liquor stores and finding stuff down there is stuff I can't find up here or if you can not find it up here, it's very expensive. So they had this, so it was about a hundred bucks. I picked up two, got one to the guy from the Bourbon Junkies because he wanted one. And I got an also, I also got a, it's this one, Lee's Discount Liquor Old Forester Store Pick. Um, this is a uh, single barrel. And so uh, that had their name on it, so I picked up that one. So I got those two, I got him a bottle of Jack. We've seen that video where his wife brought the George T. Stag for us to drink. So that was great, but the bottle of Jack was kind of compared to that. So that was the first liquor store, got those two. Uh, when I went to drop off the uh, other bottle, I went into a Total Wine, and at that Total Wine was this Bardstown Discovery Series 2. Who's this guy? Yeah, 
Discovery Series 2. So I picked up that one. Oh, I got this camera here so I can show it there. So Discovery Series 2. I'll put the the prices down because this is this is where I need help. Not adding. I can do that for the most part. It, the next uh, total wine my friends and I we went to I was able to pick up a full proof which I now have seen in up here in the Pacific Northwest um, but uh, I hadn't seen it before so this was maybe one of those buys that was kind of like well I see it so I'll pick it up uh, the other thing is the taxes in Washington State be more specific about where we are. 280, well, I don't know what the liter tax is, but on a 750, it's $2.83. Then 20 point some percent on top of that, just for this. And that goes for all of these. If you like this one, this was a hundred bucks up here. That's 120 plus 283. So it's 125. Sometimes this isn't even starting at 125. All right, but this one that we've seen in the other video, the gold bar. I hadn't seen this. Can find it up here. Oh man, that's too close. I have to go out to here. So, well earned and well deserved for moments worth celebrating. So it's glass. Looks like a gold piece of gold uh, bar. Thought that was pretty cool. Can't find that up here. Duke. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Small Batch. It's actually got, unlike the Duke that you see on the store shelves around here, uh, it's actually got a picture of John Wayne on the front. And primarily I got it because uh, he got a new cat, adopted a seven-year-old black cat named Duke. So this would be his bottle. Of course, I'll drink it. He won't. Picked up that one at one of the XOs and at the other XO, Elijah Craig Small Batch in the old bottle. So I can't wait to try this with some of the other Elijah Craig's that I've got stacked up. Most of them in this case back here. So there's that guy. This Wood Woodford Reserve Very Fine, rare. This one up here, I hadn't seen it before. Well, maybe I did see it, but it was, you know, for very fine and rare, the price was not very fine or rare. It was rarefied. And so down there, this was 150, so plus tax, 162. So it was probably a little bit more, but I didn't. I don't think I'd seen this up here for under 160, 170 if I saw it at all. There's that guy, I'll put this back on the shelf. We all know and love. Smoke wagon, uncut, unfiltered. So I was looking at uh, one of the other Lee's Liquors and uh, <laughs> They're, they're a chain, so there's many of them you can drive around to. And um, this was on the shelf, and I was talking to him about another bottle of something else and got on a tangent. It was marked at like 45 bucks, so I was thinking, uh, sold, and it got up there and he rang it up and it was 80 bucks. I'm like, well, it's marked this. And they went round and round and they said, hey, we just can't, we can't give it to you for that. And I said, that's cool, I'm gonna get it anyway because it's hard to find and you can't get it up here and, Washington State. So the nine bottles I got in Las Vegas and I'll show you a picture of somewhere up here of uh, how I had them all in my suitcase. Two suitcases which was a little tenuous, a little dicey. So we'll go to the next bottle. Now I'm back from Vegas. I've unpacked all my stuff. I've got nine bottles. That's it. I'm out. That's enough. You want to go to the craft store? Line? Okay fine. And on the way back we're cutting back through uh, another part of town and there's a liquor store there that I thought might have an IW Harper 15 in it but they didn't but they did have this Kentucky Spirit feather bottle I've been looking for one of these um, I've got a wild turkey a couple wild turkeys and I thought well this would be a good one to have to uh, try those against okay now this has got to be enough we've, we've had we've had plenty of purchasing uh, and then I see on my uh, one of my feeds that uh, li local liquor store that I hadn't been to before, Bob's Liquor, is having a national park pick. Well, a national pick service from Bob's Liquor. And so this 
was a box set of, turn this around, that's kind of cool, a Buffalo Trace from Bob's Liquor Select, a, sorry, a Wilderness Trail, straight bourbon, Family Reserve, and I think this is a Bob's Liquor Pick, yep, that's a Bob's Liquor Pick, Eagle Rare, and these were, people were lining up to get these, and I was maybe crazy enough to do it, not knowing how fast they would go. Seemed like a good deal, so four bottles. I think, a, I think it was like 200 and some dollars. 50 bucks a bottle. Some are higher, some are lower. They're all store picks. Um, so yeah, so I think these two are different. I haven't looked into them that close, so I've got plenty of Buffalo Trace and Eagle Rare. Wilderness Trail, so there was this box. And then when you're there, you have the opportunity to purchase another of each one or one or the other. So that would be this guy, single barrel select, Bob's, another Eagle Rare. One more Buffalo Trace from Bob's. And another Wilderness Trail bourbon. <sighs> yeah, five years, seven months on that one, so. So what are we up to? I forgot already. Seven, seven more on top of the nine, on top of the ten, so seventeen. That's got to be it. That, that's got to be the extent of it. Let's go look at trucks today down in Olympia. And um, I said, I said that to my wife. Let's get out of the house. Go down to Olympia. So we go down to Olympia. That's fine. But part of the deal was more craft stores and near one of the craft stores, Tuesday morning is not really a craft store, but whatever, uh, is uh, the Lacey Liquors. And I hadn't been to Lacey Liquors, so I went into Lacey Liquors and um, A121, they had this on the shelf. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. So here comes the furnace. Pick this up in Lacey. I don't know what we're up to, I lost count already. Ugh. Uh, liquor store at Westgate. Old Forster, single barrel, barrel strength, proper and earnest batch number one pick. It's the last one they had, and I had seen this bottle at the Issaquah liquor store, but they had marked out the proper and earnest. Well, I didn't realize proper and earnest was a liquor store in Woodenville, but in addition, they had George Dickel 15. Matt said this was pretty good. At least I think Matt Porter said it was on a DHD whiskey, so I thought I'd pick it up while I was there. I don't know what we're up to, but I'm... I was really very, what, what the hell am I doing at this point because of this. So not only is this video a haul and a confession and uh, a cry for help, it is also an unboxing. So I ordered this in March. So I still got the bill in March. It didn't come until April this month. So it took a couple weeks to get it even though it said, really, pull this up here. Doesn't look too bad. A lot of popcorns in there. What caught my eye was this. I hope it's in here. I mean, it should be in here since I ordered it. Oops, a few receipts. Ah, oh, they didn't put some in there. That was nice of them. Old Elk. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. With the elk pour. Finally. I finally found one. It was on Lux Co. or Lux Life or Lux something. And they had it. And, they, and it was, I had seen this all over, but nobody would ship it up here. And finally I found a place that would ship the stupid thing. I mean, look at that. So that was the reason for clicking clickbait, clicking on that and picking up this. Limited edition gift set with custom elk pour and here comes the freaking furnace. God bless America. Okay, so it's 55 plus 22. But maybe what if I ordered another bottle? Would the shipping go up? So I looked up one of my favorites, one of Whiskey Rose favorites too. 
Old Forester 1920. One of my favorites. Uh, it's smooth, it's got some kick to it, it's flavorful, and why not order it online when up here it's a $75, $80 bottle after tax. And so it didn't, whatever price it was, now I forgot, it didn't add anything to the old elk shipping, same shipping. All right, well that's easy. Let's, uh, let's tack another bottle on there, see what happens. I hadn't even heard of this. Ancient Age Preferred Blended Whiskey. Carefully blended according to the finest old traditions. 20% straight whiskey, 80% spirits distilled from the finest grains. So, <laughs> oh, it's a liter too. I hadn't seen this up here. It was like $14, maybe $15. Cause I've got the big honker one here that we did the long pour with. Ancient, ancient age 10. And we also did this with the, uh, the uh, decanter handle the truth. So I thought $15, we'll try the ancient age preferred. Then the shipping didn't go up, it's still $20. So, all right, well, let's, let's try something else. There's her Brooks 99 proof. Heard good things about this from, I think, Porter or somebody. Thought this was a good bottle, so, and it wasn't too much, and the shipping was still at 20 some dollars, $22. Let's add another bottle. Bradshaw Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, the Terry Bradshaw line. I'm not a huge Steelers fan. I'm not even a huge Terry Bradshaw fan. Now I'll have a few bottles that have names on them. We can do a little comparison of uh, whiskeys that are, you know, hawked by celebrities or pseudo celebrities. We'll see how this goes. It's 103 proof. It's got a lot of zinc to it. Five more. I think I went in to add another bottle and the shipping did go way up. So $20, all this, I think this was, I think it was like 220 bucks. I don't know where the tax went. Shh, don't tell them. Shipping, the liter tax, this one, this sucker's a liter. It's not even 750. So, that is the haul. I forget, I lost count. I don't even know if I want to put the total because it was um, obscene, honestly. And I hope she, hope she doesn't watch this and figure it out, but I think I told her, so. Uh, a lot of people have asked me, what does the gold bar actually taste like? I think this might be a good opportunity to to uh, crack it open. There's not really a neck. I can't really get a neck pour, but I have a feeling this screws off. I don't even how it, know how it opens. San Francisco World Spirits Competition 2016, double gold. And apparently this uh, this coin comes off also. Did a little reading on it. I brought a Glen Karen. Interesting how that comes off. And then it's a screw top. <laughs> Fabulous. Ooh, America. That's how that works. Do a minic sniff. I'm so stuffed up, I can't smell much of anything. Oh, ethanol forward, that kind of a funk. Ah, oh, hope that, that goober was not in my liquor and was in the, must have been in the glass. Doesn't even seem like a, a swimmer, that's like a, a, if that's an organism, that's really gonna suck. Well, it's not gonna eat much, but that's kind of disgusting if that was in, in the bottle. Kinda looks like it has antennae on it. Well, that would just be gross. Do not recommend <laughs> with zero stars. Time out. So I went and got a coffee filter. I'll put it in this glass, in this extra big mug, and we'll pour. 
this into here and see if the beastie it might just stay in the glass but yeah I'm gonna waste it if it's I don't think it's any big deal what is that what the heck is that Stand by. I know what I know what I need. That's just cardboard. I don't feel like a chump. Freaking looks like it's got legs though. That's really weird. Huh. That looks like a freaking bug. Hopefully that's not that whole bottle of this stuff. That would kind of suck. long pour bottle. I think I'm gonna need like a microscope. I mean it's not a it's just a bug but why would unless it fell out of the box or something because this was anyway ugh. back to the uh, in my nosing skills. You know, great. It's not a real high proof. 80 proof finished in California casks, and I think I read French casks, French oak, yep, French oak wine cask, so it's got a little wine hint to it, a little wine taste, maybe that came out of the wine cask or something, it's, it's not bad, it's no stag, that's for sure, I guess the uh, French wine cask Finishing kind of gives it a little bit of wine flavor. Yeah, get some wine on the end. Seems pretty smooth. It's not super ethanol-y, so maybe it's not a total dumpster fire like I was thinking. Well, of course, if it comes with bugs, ugh, that's not good. Didn't really need the filters, but chill filtered and, or non-chill filtered, and uh, Mr. Coffee filtered. Not fantastic. The bottle's cool. So I got that going for me. We'll put it up against a couple others here. They don't tell you it's mash bill. They don't tell you where anything comes from. Um, for now, it comes from Vegas. Make sure you pour two glasses because you never know who's going to be stopping by. Nobody's coming down to the mudroom. So cheers and uh, don't overspend your budget all in one month. It's not great. I did. I knew I forgot something. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you like what you see on the channel, leave a comment. If you don't like it, leave a comment. If you're going to be a hater or a jerk, yeah, leave a comment. I'll read them. <sighs>